These are 10 tips for new players to Guild Wars 2. Maybe you've heard of this game, but you'd never have played it before. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all everything you need to get started in this new MMO, if you decide to give it a try. But before we jump into today's video, we have to talk about today's sponsor, Displate. If you're someone who's tired of low energy, lame paper posters, and you're ready for an upgrade, then look no further than Displate. Displate is a company who prints their designs on metal and doesn't demand that you drill holes or ram thumbtacks into your walls in order to hang them. These guys figured, hey, our posters are metal, so why not just use magnets to attach them to the walls? With over 1 million branded designs from WoW, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, D&D, you name it, Displate has high quality posters for everyone. Check Displate out by using the link in the description below and get 20% off if you buy one to two posters and 30% off if you buy three or more posters. Guys, you will never go back to cheap paper wall decor ever again after you receive your first delivery from Displate. Tip one. Exploration. When you begin your adventure in Guild Wars 2, you're gonna quickly realize that this is a game all about exploration. In fact, it's one of the cornerstones of the game's leveling content for new players, like you. Sure, there's your personal storyline to follow, but you can and should go off this linear experience to see what you can find. Venture out into the horizon, and you will find all of these events to take part in, treasures to discover, bosses to fight, and be introduced to the game's wider world. Put another way, don't treat Guild Wars 2 like other MMOs, like World of Warcraft, that put you on this sort of linear quest path to follow, going from one quest to the next, and so on and so forth. Go out into Tyria, see what you can find. It's one of the great joys of this game. And also, as a side tip, you are not stuck to just exploring your race's starting zone if you don't like it. You can always teleport to another race's starting zone if you get bored of yours using the game's fast travel system. Tip number two, your personal storyline. When creating a character, you're gonna be given a series of choices to make that will affect your character's personal storyline. Maybe you saw these in the character creation and you were like, eh, I don't really care about all this. No, 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 don't ignore these. If you're a new player, these have an impact on the direction and the content of your character's personal storyline that they're gonna experience. The storyline that you'll undergo, it's divided into chapters, and in each chapter, you will be presented with a series of quests and missions that revolve around your character. You'll interact with story NPCs, learn the overarching events of the world. Your choices are going to have consequences to the overall plot. You can even determine the fate of major characters. The personal storyline in Guild Wars 2, it just adds this layer of immersion and depth that you're not gonna wanna ignore. You gotta at least give it a chance as it will really pull you into the deeper world and into the game. So just, just don't ignore it. Tip three, don't forget to dodge. So this game, Guild Wars 2, has a dodge mechanic, all right? It ain't like World of Warcraft, where if a spell is cast at you, there's no way for you to dodge the attack. You just gotta hope that the RNG is on your side and you resist the attack. In Guild Wars 2, you really can utilize your reaction timing, your skill, just utilize that dodge mechanic to avoid enemy attacks and spells. Now you're gonna have two charges of dodge, all right? And you can use that by double tapping the movement keys in a particular direction. And you can always rebind this later if you don't like that. This feature is not gonna seem like much of a big deal at first as you're venturing through Noob Valley, but by the time you encounter your first world boss or big event, you're gonna see how having the ability to dodge attacks, like how to get out of them red circles, how to dodge those blasts, it's a lifesaver, okay? The point is, learn to dodge. It's important. Tip number four, join a guild. Okay, let me get this tip out of the way, okay? It's the duh tip when it comes to MMOs, but so many players, when they play online games, they don't do this tip for some reason. Join a guild. The game is called Guild Wars 2. A guild is a community where you can make your first friends in the game, you can ask questions about things that you're confused on, and really find yourself immersed into the community of the MMO that you're playing. Guild Wars 2 is no different. Now, when I first started playing this game, I was very confused. And it was only when I got into a guild and started asking questions, and when I also started asking questions to my stream audience, that's when I really began to understand and appreciate the game. Without them, I would have been lost as a ball in high weeds, especially when it came to things like professions. And speaking of professions. 
Tip five, start crafting. Guild Wars 2 is one of those MMOs where crafting rewards players with some of the best gear that you can get. It's called Ascended Armor, to be precise, and you can start crafting this stuff after hitting level 500 in a profession. Now, maybe you're someone that you would just like to skip crafting altogether when leveling up, but I'm telling you, it's worth the time to mess around with, as it will save you a ton of time in the future. Also, you can get a good little bit of experience from crafting things too, so there's that. Just keep in mind that unless you have infinite gathering tools, your pickaxe, axe, and sickle, the three things that you need for gathering in this game, they're ultimately going to break. So be prepared to buy new ones as you travel around in the world. Tip number six, jumping puzzles are awesome. I guarantee that the moment you find your first jumping puzzle while out exploring the world, you're going to have a frustratingly good time with it. Now, some are simpler than others. But damn, these jumping puzzles are amazing. Especially consider the fact that they have actual rewards at the end of them. These things are such a breath of fresh air from all the killing and gathering and storytelling, you just can't help but appreciate the fact that the developers took the time to put these things into the game. But just be prepared, all right? Some are very long and some can be very challenging. You will rage at times, trust me. But it's a good kind of rage. Tip number seven. Use the forward slash wiki command. This is a really cool feature when it comes to Guild Wars 2, but the game features a command that you can type in called forward slash wiki. Now, if you were in a zone, for example, and you wanted to learn more about its lore, characters, or whatever, you could just type in forward slash wiki and then put the zone name, and the game will automatically open a window for you displaying the Guild Wars 2 Wikipedia of that zone and all the information about it. How cool is that? And the best part is, this wiki website is constantly being monitored and updated, so all the information, it's trustworthy, it's reliable, it's up to date. Man, I wish that other MMOs had stuff like this to help with understanding the lore, crafting, how to not suck at your class, but whatever. Oh well. Tip number eight, this game is free. Now I know this one's kind of late into the video, but for those that are not aware, Guild Wars 2 is a free to download and play game. You do not need to buy the box or buy a download. You don't need to be a subscriber to jump into the world. However, eventually, if you do enjoy the game, you do have to buy its expansions, Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons, you know, whatever. But you're not being forced to do such a thing unless you truly enjoy your time playing Guild Wars 2. That's one of the reasons what makes this game so good. The fact that you can get hundreds of hours of gameplay out of it without having to pay a single penny. The reason why I'm putting this tip on here is if you're trying to convince people, you know, to play with you so you got some friends to play with, this is the way that you do it. Just say, hey, it's free. Like, come check it out. What do you got to lose? Tip number nine, try different weapons. Now, if you're like me, you're committed to playing as a big buff Nord warrior because behind the camera, you're fat and lazy in real life. It's a fantasy game, you know? You gotta live the fantasy, right? Come on. Well, on that Norn Warrior, you might be tempted to only use a two-handed axe or sword or shield or whatever, but don't be afraid to experiment with new weapon types. Whether it be guns, dual wielding, warhorns, torches, it doesn't matter. There are no restrictions in Guild Wars 2, so try out different weapons, combinations, and figure out what you enjoy the most. For me, dude, when I first discovered bows in this game, they're so much fun. I fully intended to level my guy up as melee only, but when I got the bow, it, it was a nice surprise. Bows are a lot of fun. And tip number 10, deposit materials. I saved the best for last, okay? If you're a new player, you're gonna quickly realize that damn, your inventory fills up fast in this game. Mobs in the open world are gonna be dropping everything from their clothes to their elbows, all of which is gonna leave your character walking around carrying a giant load of garbage in your bags. Well, my friends, this annoyed the crap out of me when I first started playing until I found the deposit materials button. Most of the items that you will collect and carry around are materials. So when your inventory is full, just press this little button and boom, all the items are now sent right to your material storage, which you can access at any bank or crafting station. And also as a final tip, you can press the sell junk button to sell garbage to vendors. And that's it guys, 10 tips for new players to Guild Wars 2. Hopefully the list helps any of you new players out there because dude, I wish I knew this stuff when I first started playing. And if any of you veterans watching this video have any other tips to suggest, leave them down in the comment section below because just between me and you, a lot of WoW players right now, they're quitting World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic because Blizzard decided it would be a good idea to put a WoW token in there. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, but the point is they need a new MMO. So 
they need some tips for getting started in Guild Wars 2. Thanks for watching.